Dharajastamo bhava, Dharajastamo bhava, Kamalo bhada yashchaye, Kamalo bhada yashchaye, Eta eta anavidham, Eta eta anavidham, Sitam satve prasirati, Sitam satve prasirati. At the time, loving devotional service is established in the heart. The modes of passion, rajas, and ignorance, tamas, and lust and desire, kama, disappear from the heart. Then the devotee is established in goodness, and he becomes happy. Sitam Satya Prasidati. So, the principle is that we have to place our mind or consciousness in the Satagun. That is the first business. Because the material world means Satagun, Rajagun, Tamo. Satagun is the qualification of pure Brahma. Sama Dhamma Tithikha Arjava Gyanam Vijyanam Asthikam Brahma Karma Sabhava. Satagun. These are the symptoms of Satagun. Without coming to the platform of Satagun or Brahminical qualification. One cannot make any advance in spiritual life. Therefore, in our Krishna consciousness movement, we first of all bring anyone to the platform of Brahman. Therefore, at the time of second initiation, we offer the sacred thread to recognize him that he is now Brahman. Without becoming a Brahmana, nobody can become a Vaishnava. Or when one is Vaishnava, it is to be understood that he is also Brahman. The common word in India it is said, Brahmana Vaishnava. Brahmana should become Vaishnava or one who is Vaishnava is already a Brahman. Brahma Janati is a Brahman. So a Vaishnava not only knows Brahma but he knows Paramatma and he knows Bhagavan. Brahma Janati is a Brahman. Simply by knowing Brahma one can become a Brahman. But a Vaishnava, not only he knows what is Brahma, but he knows further what is Paramatma and what is Bhagavan. Brahmati, Paramatmati, Bhagavani, Tishabhi. The absolute truth is present in three features, Brahma, Paramatma and Bhagavan. The Brahma realization is the first. Aham Brahmasma, that is the self-realization. I am not this body. Aham Brahmasma, that is called Brahma Bhuta stage. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma, that is the state pending the Bhagavadri. Here is also it is stated that Sitam Shatya Prasiriti. Uh, everyone is hankering after how to be peaceful in mind. Everyone says, Samini, kindly, say, how I can get peace of mind? The peace of mind, how it can be attained? He stated here, sthitam satya prasidati. If you fix up, in Satogon, not in the Rajagon Tamagon. Tamagon is the life of the Kurmis. Tamagon and Rajagon also. Rajagon is actually Kurmis. 
and Satabhav is the life of gainage. And after coming to the Satabhav, being peaceful in mind, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, you have to come to the platform of Satabhav, then you will be Prasanna Atma. Prasanna means happy mood of life. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, what is the happy mood of life? Na sochati, na kāntati. He does not love it. He does not hanker. We are in the material world. We are hankering. We want this dhanam dehi, rupam dehi, jasur dehi, rubhuti, bhajjang dehi, dehi dehi. That is hankering. This is not the stage of Brahma Bhuta. Brahma Bhuta stage means no suchati, no kāmkati. He does not thank. Neither he laments. Then sama sarveshu bhūteshu mad bhakti lavati param. Then bhakti begins when actually you are in peace of mind, a disturbed mind cannot execute devotional sign. Therefore, in the beginning, uh, if somebody all of a sudden becomes a Vaishnava and in a solitary place and chanting, there is cheating. How can we, how you can chant? You cannot, because your mind is not fixed up. Your mind is not not sujati, not antati. Unless you are purified, your mind is always disturbed. That is the material condition. The mind must be disturbed. Sada samudhvigna dhiyam. Prahlad Maharaj said, that is the material symptom. What is the material symptom? Always full of anxiety. Sada samudhvigna dhiyam. Why? Asadgraha. Because he has accepted the temporary position, asat. Asat means which will not exist. Here everything will not exist. This body, it will not exist. But I have taken this body as everything. I am Indian, I am American, I am the father of this family, I am the manager of the so big business, and so on, so on, so on, so on. Asadgraha. But everything concentrated on this body. So he must be full of anxiety. Asadgraha. He accepted this body as fair. But it is not fair. Similarly, the whole world. Asadgraha, samadhi begin of dhiyam. This is very nice question. Hidanakoshiva asked his son, Prahlad Maharaj, my dear boy, what you have learned the best thing? You are a student. He said, the sadhu manne asura varcha. He addressed his father. He addressed him as asura varcha, the best of the asura. He did not address him as father. But he said, my dear, the best of the asura Tanmanne sadhu asura varcha. Sada samudhivigna dhyana sadhgraha. Hityatma ghatam griyayanda kūpam banam vato jad harimāsaya. That is the best thing. One is rotting in this family life which is just like a blind well. Andhaku. Atma ghatam. Just like a man falls in the blind well. He has no other alternative than to die crying, crying. That's all. So, he advises, Hitva, just give it up. Hitya atma ghatam andhakupam griya andhakupam. Then where shall I go? Banangato, 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 go to Vrindavan, or in the forest. Then how shall I be? Now, harima sreta, just take shelter of Krishna, Hari, he will be protected. This is the instruction of Prahlad Maharaj. 
So, here Bhagavad says, Tada. Tada means at that time. At that time, when? It is in the previous verse, it has been explained uh, that on Nasta Prayasu Avatresu Nittama Bhagavata Sivaya. Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Nashtiki. At that time, when you are fixed up in devotional service, at that time, Tada. Not otherwise. If you have no connection with devotional service, if you are attached to karma, jnana, yoga, you cannot be fixed up. That what Chaitanya Chaitamita says, bhukti mukti siddhi kane sakali asanta. Here we require, tala sitam satte prasidati. Prasidati means peace of mind. Fully satisfied. But bhukti mukti siddhi kane. At Chaitanya they cannot have peace of mind. It is not possible. Bhukti means karmis, that trying to enjoy this material, more money, more honor, more eating, more, more and more. That is called bhukti. They are not satisfied by enjoying. On this planet they perform various kind of jagdhans so that they may be promoted to the higher planetary system, Sarvaloka or Janaloka, Mahaloka, like that. But Krishna says, Abrahma Purana Aloka. You rascal, you are trying to be promoted to the higher planetary system for more and more material in your Certainly, there is thousands and thousands times more material comforts in the heavenly planets, in the Chandraloka. In the Chandraloka, they are trying to go into Chandraloka. But according to Shastra, if one goes to Chandraloka, he gets ten thousands of years his duration of life and enjoy. So certainly there are many times more comfortable life, standard of life very, very high in the heavenly other planetary system. But Krishna says that any one of the planet you can go, but the material disease will not be relieved. The material disease, janma mutta jarabhyadi. We cannot understand. This is our real disease. Repetition of birth, janma, and repetition of death, janma mutta jarabhyadi. A reputation of becoming old and bad, a reputation of being affected by various types of disease. So therefore, intelligent man should see that even if I go to the Brahma Loka, uh, when Brahma was asked by Hiranya Kosibu, give me immortality, sir. He said, I am myself not immortal, how can I give you immortal? The Abhurma Bhuvana Lukan Purulavakin Arjun. Krishna advised Arjun, my dear Arjun, if you go to the Brahma Loka, many millions of years duration of life, eh? still you have to die. So that is the standard of highest perfection. If you do not die, if you do not take birth, if you know what are the miserable conditions of birth to remain within the womb of the mother, not only to remain, nowadays modern advanced civilization, they are being killed by the mother, not only abortion, but they are being killed. Now the Western world, he is very familiar with these things. So just imagine, first of all, you have to remain within the mother, oh, uh, head down, packed up condition. You cannot move ten months, and that is also not secure. Within the mother's home, you are not secure. At any moment, the doctor may advise that kill the child. 
So these are the miserable condition of birth, but we do not remember them. We have to know it from the Shastra. So similarly, at the time of death, ah, coma, nowadays, it is a very common disease, for seven days, fifteen days, he is unconscious, crying. So this is the miserable condition of death. This is the miserable condition of birth. And between birth and death, there are so many miserable conditions. Uh, this old age, uh, this disease, uh, so many calamities, catastrophes. Then still we do not want to make a solution of this problem. And the solution is very simple. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Jarma Karma Medibam Jujama Atita. If we simply know Krishna, what is Krishna? Why does he come? Why he works like an ordinary man? Janma Karma Medib. Jujana Atita. In truth, in actual fact, not that Krishna was born in Mathura and then he was taken to Vrindavan. This is also knowing, but still you know what is Krishna. Manushanam sahasre sukhasthi jatati siddhaya jatatama visiddhyana kasthi bhittiman tattva. It is very difficult to understand Krishna. Tattva, not superficial, but in fact. So Krishna says, Janma karma me divam jo janati tattva. So one who understands Krishna in truth, he becomes free. Takta deham punar janmanaiti maamaiti These things are there. So why don't you be serious to study Krishna, to understand Krishna? But to understand Krishna, it will require Krishna's mercy. Without Krishna's mercy, uh, so, how you get Krishna's mercy? Tesam satadhiruktanam bhajatam atriti purvakam buddhi yogam dadami jinamam upayate. One can understand Krishna by being constantly engaged in his service. Tesam satadhiruktanam. Not that weekly ones go to the church. No. Twenty-four hours. Sadhata Yuktanam engaged in Krishna's service. That is Krishna consciousness movement. We are teaching people how to become twenty-four hours engaged in Krishna's service. This is our business. We don't allow karma, gyan, yoga, no. Simply. And that is Krishna Bhakti. Jnana karma, vanapita. There is no question of jnana and karma. That is not pure bhakti. Pure bhakti means annavilasita sunna. Jnana karma dhanabhita. Anukullena krishna nusilana. Simply to serve Krishna favorably. As Krishna becomes pleased. This is bhakti. This is pure. So this Krishna consciousness movement therefore teaching pure devotional service to Krishna. That is all all problem. So how one can come to that stage? That is being explained in this portion of the Bhagavad. That Simnatana Sapata Krishna Punna Savana Kitana. Just here, you haven't got to do anything more. Just hear about Krishna. Sinnatam Sapata. Then everything will be clear. Great. This is our purpose. The center is giving charge that you come here and hear about. We, we don't make any flattery to satisfy the whims of the audience. We speak from Srimad Bhagavatam, we speak from Bhagavad Gita and present them as it is, without any adulteration. This is our business. If you like, then you make progress. If you don't like, that is your option. But we cannot make any compromise. We must present 
the shastra as it is. And when it is difficult, everything is explained here. Nittam Bhagavat Seva. You have to attend Bhagavat class and serve the Bhagavat person. Nittam, daily. If you cannot, that is a different thing. But this is the process. Nittam Bhagavat Seva. Nasta Prayeshu Abhadrish. This conclusion comes when one is partially advanced, nasta prayesh, not fully. Then it will come. He will be ready to serve Bhagavatam. Ah. Bhagavata person Bhagavat and the book Bhagavat. Nittam Bhagavata Sivaya. Bhagavati Uttama Sloke. Ah. Bhakti Bhavati Nashtiki. Nishtha have explained already yesterday. Tada at that time. When you are fixed up, now I shall devote my life in Krishna consciousness. When you come to this conclusion, nitya, that will come, nitya bhagavata seva. Bhakti bhavati nashtiti, not deviation, but not this worship, that worship, this worship, this worship. Kamastasta hita jnana jajanti anna devati. Those who are worshipping other demigods, that is recommended in the, for the less intelligent class. Tad bhavati arpamedhasam. These things are recommended for the persons who are less intelligent, whose brain is packed up with cow dung. Not intelligent person. Intelligent person, sarva dharma antparitajya mamekam sarva. That is intelligent. So, when one comes to this conclusion, bhakti bhavati nashti, ah, bhakti where? Not that bhakti to this god, that god, no. Bhavati and to the Supreme Personality of God, bhakti bhavati nashti, nashti, without any disturbance. Tada, at that time. Tada, what is the result? Rajasthama bhava. There are three bhavas, Rajaguna bhava, Stamaguna bhava, and Satoguna bhava. So, as soon as you come to the platform of devotion and service, the two inferior qualities, namely Rajaguna and Tamaguna, they become finished. Simply Satoguna remains, because there are three gunas. If two gunas are finished, no more useful, then the other one is there. Tada rajastama bhava. What are the symptoms of rajastama bhava? Ne kama and no. Those who are infected with this rajastama bhava, they are very lusty, greedy, lowly. They are not satisfied. The modern civilization is based on Rajasthama Bhava. Nobody is satisfied. Everyone is greedy and lust. Kama Lobha Rajasthu. Kama. So long you are lusty, so long you are greedy, there is no question of devotion and service. There is no question of advancement in spiritual life. So therefore you have come to the platform of Satogo where Simply knowledge. There is no other thing, ignorance or greediness, only knowledge. So at that time it is said, Cheta Etai Anavidham. Because everything is within the heart. We become greedy, we become lusty on account of distortion of the heart disease. Kama, tada rivaluva kama apahinati. That is a heart disease. This kama and loha is a heart disease. Actually, you don't require it, but it is a kind of disease. More and more and more and more and more, and never satisfied. So, we have to cure this disease. And this process, simple process, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given. Chita Darpana Marjanam. 
to cure the heart disease or lusty desires and greediness. He is chanting Hare Krishna Maham, Parana Vijayati Sri Krishna Sankirtana. These are the Shastri injunctions spoken by personalities like Lord Chaitanya and other acharyas. So you have to follow Mahajana Deen Gadasapantha. Don't follow rascals and fools, then it will be useless, waste of time. Follow the great acharyas. Acharyaman Purusha Veda. One who is Acharyama was accepted. Acharya. He knows. Others all are fools, rascals. Acharya. Acharya Upasanam. In the Bhagavad Gita it is said. Amanitam madhammitam mahinsha khanti ajavam acharya upasana. You have to, first of all, worship the acharya. Tad vidyana thamsa guru meva vidyache. Guru and acharya. So, these are the process. Mahajana jinaka. You cannot manufacture your ways of thinking. What you are? You are most insignificant living entity. And without following the acharyas, without following the Mahajan, without following the Shastra, how you can teach that people are doing that? Without being followed by the acharya, without being followed by the Shastra, they become guru, they become shami, they become yogi. It is useless. You cannot get here at the process. Process is given. Tadarajasthama bhava. Kama. Tada means when you are fixed up in devotional side, then you can get out of these infection. These are infection. It is so dangerous infection. Infection anyone can understand nowadays, scientifically. If you infect some disease, you have to suffer. You cannot escape. You infect today, somehow or other, not today, not tomorrow, but someday it will come out. It is called kutastha, phalaramo, prarantha, papa beach. Papa beach remains as seed, kutastha. Then it is fructifying, phalaramo, then you shatha, prarantha. This is called prarantha karma, infection. You are under the complete subjugation of nature. Prakriti kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvasa. This gunai. The prakriti is forcing him to work because you have infected a kind of guna. Karanam guna sangasa sadasa juni janus. Karana. Why one man is born? One living entity is born as very rich man and one is born as a dog. Sat asat, joni, joni means mother and bija means father, jatha jani, jatha bija. So every living entity is born, bija and joni, father and mother. So why there are varieties? Nature is working, why not one kind of living entity? No. So the self jhanma jhani issue, there are eight million four hundred thousand subspecies. One has to take kathādhi ahantara prāt. You have to change. But why one is in the lower grade birth, why is in higher grade? Na kāranam guna sangas. This guna. This guna, sada guna, raja guna. So he has to give up the association of Rajaguna and Tamagam. Then there is question of progress. Otherwise it is simply bluff. Therefore in our society we say, don't associate, don't be infected by this Rajaguna Tamagam, this meat eating and, and illicit sex life and drinking and gambling, they are a Rajagunstam, Kama Lok. You see, there is a big race ground, gambling, Tamago. They are going there. 
thousands and thousands of people are going there for gambling. This is tamago. Why? Lobo. I must get more money. I must get more rope. Kaam. Kaam alo bhadar. So you have to get out of all this entanglement. Then there is spiritual life. Otherwise don't talk of spiritual life. This is fact. Tada. Tada means when you are fixed up in devotional service. Tada. Kaam alo bhadar. I asked you. Tada rajasunam bhava. Right. We have to get rid of this rajagun and tamagun. We have to be fixed up in satagun, pure light. Then, sita satya prasidati. If you are situated in the satagun, then you will be peace of mind. That is Krishna Bhakti. That is explained in the Chaitanya Chaitanya. Bhukti Mukti Siddhi Gami Sakali Asant. Krishna Bhakti Nishkam. Atayem Shant. Krishna Bhakta, he does not desire it. Krishna Bhakta says, I don't mind. Yeah, I am born Loba. That is because he chant Hare Krishna. Loba not high one, he has nothing to do. Uh, if one is engaged in devotion and service, it doesn't matter whether he is Loba or not high one. As soon as he takes to devotion and service, he becomes above Loba or not high one. Sagunan Samutitta Itan Brahma Bhujayata. He is in the Brahma platform. So in this way, as they are stated in this Hastra, if you follow, there is step by step. First beginning is Sinnatam Sakata Krishna. Try to hear Krishna's message. That is Bhagavad Gita as it is. You hear it. You understand it? What is the limit? Sannatam Sannatam. Don't misinterpret. Hear it as it is. Krishna says, Manmana Bhavamad Bhakta Madjali Mahana Maskuru. Hear it and execute it. Where is the limit? But uh, we shall not execute, we shall not hear, uh, we shall not uh, act according to the instruction given. Uh, that is our misfortune. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu therefore says, Eta Drishi Tava Kripa Bhagavan Mamapi Duddhaiva Idrishi Maha Iha Janinandra. You are so merciful huh, that in this age you are incarnated, you have descended in your name. Nam Namakari Bahuda Nijasadva Shakti. And in the name there is all potencies. Parasya Shakti Bhidai Vasriya. There are multi potencies of the Supreme Personality of God. All the potencies are there in the holy name of the Lord. Nam Nam Kari Bahuda Nija Sarvasa Tattayati Niyamita Smarani Nakar Deshkal Patra. There is no distinction anywhere. Either in England or in Vindavan or in Calcutta you can chant Hare Krishna. Niyamita smarana, no kala kala vicha. This is asuddha ka, this is suddha ka. Anytime, kirtaniya sadhari, you have to chant only Hare Krishna. So, this opportunity is there. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Etadrishi tabukripa. My Lord, we are so kind, you have given us this chance. Dutta iva idrishi maha, jani nara. But I am so unfortunate. I have no attraction for this chanting Hare Krishna. Uh, this is our position. So if you are serious about peace of mind, if you are serious about advancement in spiritual culture, spiritual life, then you must follow what is there in the Shastra and spoken by Krishna himself spoken by Lord Chaitanya himself, then life is successful. Thank you very much.